Tesla is planning to construct 623 charging stations within Giga Berlin only. According to filings, Tesla plans to construct 623 charging stations in Berlin Gigafactory compound and this will support the future employees of the site which can reach up to 40,000 people in three shifts. Welcome back dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. In a recently shared filing for Giga Berlin acquired by Twitter user our friend Jürgen who tweets at GF for Tesla, GF for Tesla, Tesla is planning to construct 623 charging stations within the premises of the Berlin Gigafactory. According to the documents, these um, uh, uh, charging stations will be built in the parking lot of the Giga Berlin compound. Before I go any further, do you guys, does anyone know how many um, superchargers or charging stations are in Fremont factory? Or if you are familiar with China, do you know how many charging stations are uh, inside the uh, compound of um, uh, Giga, Giga Shanghai? So let us know, please. Our friend Tinsai Aregai, who is talking news tesla daily reporter has some more details saying from the total number of charging stations eight of them will be superchargers and the rest will be level two destination chargers it is not yet clear whether tesla is planning to develop v2 or v3 superchargers but from tesla's recent focus on rolling out the v3 superchargers the ladders the v3 seems more likely but i'm kind of surprised that out of 623 only eight are superchargers i was wondering if tesla may build some mega chargers at the giga berlin compound and in the future use uh, tesla's uh, semi truck to bring and move parts and tesla cars for uh, helping them with deliveries so our friend jürgen tweeted saying here, here is a bit of statistics the yellow area in the image um, that you will be seeing here in this report uh, is the future parking lot of giga berlin with 3254 total parking spaces with 615 charging stations and only eight superchargers the, the source is tesla giga berlin Tinsa reports that Tesla's V3 superchargers currently have peak rates of 250 kilowatt, reaching over 1,000 miles per hour in Model 3. However, according to leaks, these chargers might be capable of reaching even higher speeds of over 600 kilowatt. Tesla's destination chargers are also no slouch. These can reach speeds up to 11.5 kilowatt and can bring a Tesla from 20 to 80 percent within a few hours. Tesla has recently announced that Generation 3 of the wall, Gen 3 of the wall connector, which can be used for homes or as destination chargers. On top of, the cap of, of these capabilities of the Gen 2 chargers, Tesla's current destination chargers can connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, this offers uh, connect to Wi-Fi, and this offers several capabilities, including the ability to see how often and how much the chargers are utilized. Remote diagnostics, which include firm, uh, firmware updates and service alerts for repairs and ability to charge users a fair price for the electricity they use when charging. Considering the speed of these chargers, Tesla buildings uh, over 600 charging outlets in one location at Giga Berlin might seem a bit too much, right? But the chargers to be built at Giga Berlin will be for use by Tesla's future employees, which may reach as many as 40,000 people in three shifts when Tesla operates in three shifts. With this number, Tesla's Giga Berlin factory on its own might possess 10% of Germany's planned 70,000 level two chargers. Can you imagine that 10% of 70,000 level two chargers? Besides the charging spots, Tesla's Berlin Giga factory 
which seems to be the site for several other projects. Currently in the Tesla Giga Berlin settlement in Grünheide, there, um, there is a large infrastructure concept planned to the tune of uh, to, to do about $80 million investment to build new roads and new infrastructure around Giga Berlin to support all these 40,000 people plus their families who are going to influx the area or maybe some of them probably obviously will be the area residents. So a plan of this project which I talked about several days ago in my report is currently available in the Grünheide town hall and online and it will be available until November 2nd. The plan calls for the construction of new bicycle paths, new roads, new freeway exits, and much more. Considering the amount of money that has to be spent on infrastructure in Grünheide, the preliminary uh, parliamentary group of the left in the Brandenburg State Parliament has demanded that Tesla pays for the expansion of the infrastructure in the area around the plant in Grünheide. Now, Nevertheless, the new Berlin Gigafactory will be the site for several firsts for Tesla. According to Elon Musk, Berlin made Model Y should have a new paint system. In the past, describing the new paint scheme, Elon Musk has said Giga Berlin will have the world's most advanced paint shop, giving the car more layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature. The site should also be the first to mass produce Tesla's newest 4680 batteries and bring to production all the amazing breakthroughs announced at Tesla's Battery Day event. But we yesterday heard that also Panasonic is working on that. So Panasonic's line of 4680 batteries may come sooner than the one in Giga Berlin. But we'll see. But as Tesla uh, factory, this site will be the first one before uh, Giga Shanghai and Fremont to produce 4680 batteries by Tesla, which Tesla uh, um, unveiled during its latest uh, battery day event. According to Elon Musk, the Model Y that will roll off the line from the factory sometimes in 2021 should utilize all these breakthroughs, potentially giving the car a look at this 474 mile range. Speaking of Model Y, we learned just this morning that um, based on the information that one pre-orderers from uh, Netherlands uh, got from Tesla Giga Berlin, uh, it may be that Tesla Model Y may roll off the assembly line few months earlier than the summer, than the July of 2021. For this, in details, look at my previous report, which I filed this morning on Torque News YouTube channel. Friends, what do you think? Uh, are over 600 charging stations in one location too many? Or, or considering the number of workers that will be needed? And how much of you have access to electric car charging at your workplace? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below please in the meantime this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the notification bell so you may be notified once i upload our next story and have a peaceful rest of the day god bless you and see you soon in our next report